Early November is election season in New Hampshire, and in Manchester, they're getting ready to decide a high-stakes contest for the corner office at City Hall. Mayor Ted Gatzis picked up lunch for campaign volunteers Monday afternoon, greeting voters along the way. The people that I just talked to in there, they, you could tell that they were concerned about their taxes. That's why they're coming out to vote for Ted Gatzis tomorrow. Challenger Joyce Craig kicked off a morning canvas at her campaign headquarters, where an energized team is taking nothing for granted. We came so close last time, uh, coming up short by just 64 votes. So now, you know, it's really important for folks to get out and vote. Giving a boost to Craig less than 24 hours before the polls open, former Missouri Secretary of State and possible 2020 presidential candidate, Jason Kander. It's really important for folks who, who are in favor of progress, not looking back, but looking forward, to, to have people in office like Joyce who can demonstrate that, that that can really happen. Mayor Gatsis didn't have any high-profile visitors Monday, but did point us to former Mayor Ray Wazorek, who echoed his low-tax message. People over the last few years have not had big raises, if any raises at all, and so they have to really watch the nickels and dimes. Wazorek, who served five terms in the 1990s, expects Gatsis to win his own fifth term, but says in Manchester, every time you run for mayor, it gets more difficult. You pick up baggage as you go along. I don't care what it is. It's like wearing a Velcro suit. You know, you get stuff, it just sticks to you, you know. Turnout for this race two years ago was 37 percent. Officials in both parties expected to be slightly higher tomorrow. For more on that, you can read John DeStaso's story on WMUR.com politics. In the newsroom, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.